Hey guys, Mike here again. I'm hunting a short hunt here across from my house over there, the red house or the brick house. And I'm heading to the white house, which I've not ever hunted that yard. I've hunted that whole bunch in this yard. There again, I've got to go to work. Just got about an hour to hunt here like usual. Had some errands run this morning. I just hit this hole, just popped the plug out. Boom, what fell out? A green marble. That is really cool. That's definitely a different one. Never found one looks like that. That's a neat looking marble. A little bitty one. That's some great looking color to that, doesn't it? But that's not what I'm after. Because I think there was a junky signal in this hole. So I think there's something there. Let me see if I can dig a little deeper here. Being here with a marble in there gives me some hope that maybe there's something else in there somewhere. There it is. Thanks. I've been picking up the machine or the metal deal. Mm-hmm. Supposed to snow this afternoon. Don't think it's gonna do a whole lot around here. Well, let me see if I can find it again here. I know that marble's not what it was. Well, it's a terrible signal. Let me turn this off for a second. I'll be right back with you. Yeah, that marble hole was a dud. I did find a nail in it, but digging the next hole here, I got a tag that says 58-58-98. Got a band on it. I'll have to research it out later and see if it's got any other writing on it. So we'll go on and see what else we can get. Well, guys, I got to get on to work, but right here, the last dig I got to get, I never made it to the house I was wanting to hunt, but the last dig here, I got a buffalo right on top of the concrete stripping there on the sidewalk. I mean, right on top. It's gonna be a dateable one. I can't read the date, but I know it's a dateable one. Looks in good shape. I mean, it's right there, half inch deep, right? Right there, where it was at. There's the curb. That was pretty awesome. Has me some junk in there to pick up with a terrible reading. But that's awesome. My last dig and about my only dig, buffalo. All right, let's see if I'm gonna get on to work here. I gotta get in trouble. So this is my little short hunt here for work. I got one coin of the buffalo. Awesome. I'll get back with you later. It's Mike. Hey guys, Missouri Mike here. I'm gonna go do a hunt today. Traveling to a town that's not too far from where I live. And we're gonna try to do a little Civil War relic looking. So stay tuned. Beautiful morning. Sun's out, it's bright out. Let's see if we can find here. It is gonna be a gorgeous day, I do believe. So let's we'll see what we can get. I'll hook up with you in a little while. Hey guys and gals, Missouri Mike back again, <clears throat> doing a clean up. Now, this is kind of going to be kind of strange, but I would went to a town, if you watched the video here, I'd hunted around the house a little bit, then I saved that little part, and I went to a town close to here, it's called Hartville, and they actually had a Civil War battle there. I had several permissions to hunt there. 
and uh, me and my friend Jeff went. It was kind of an all day deal. So we hunted most of the day. We hunted three or four spots, but in the transfer of machine from vehicle to vehicle, you know, if you watch the video, you'll see that I'm driving and then that's it. Well, what happened was, <clears throat> yeah, I bragged my machine, transferred it to his vehicle, my digging tools, but you know what? I left the camera in my vehicle, in my truck. So I tried a cell phone thing, it didn't work out. So anyway, that's called a senior moment. So the finds I've got here are actually from that day's hunt at Hartville, Missouri. And I've got some finds. It was a Civil War battle town. Didn't really find any Civil War stuff that I believe to be really that far old, but or that old. But uh, found some neat stuff. And like I say, a lot of this stuff here is I didn't get any of it on film. Maybe a nickel or so from the around the house hunt here. Other than that, all this is just going to be stuff that I found that day of hunting. So let me go through it with you here. And I apologize for forgetting my my camera. Uh, Jeff, you know, good good friends. We're hunting together quite a bit, and, and like I say, he we he drove. I drove the the pickup point, and he he drove the rest of the way, and uh, I left the camera in the truck. So I don't have any video of this stuff, but I'm gonna post it on a page here. And uh, I wish I'd had some, some video of it, but I don't. But anyway, that's what happened. So let me start off here. Got a piece of copper lead. Um, old water pipe. Got this brass double fitting here. Now you may have seen the tag here. I found this tag, 833 piece of old I think aluminum slags what that is couple of keys this one key I think to be maybe a safety deposit box key of some sort it does look a lot different than a normal key and that would be kind of like a safe deposit box key I don't know it doesn't have a bank or anything it says Yale on it I believe Anyway, I think it is a safe deposit box key of some sort. I'd hate to lose that if I was <clears throat> the person that had the box. Various nails here today. Square nail, that's a real square one there, isn't it? A couple maybe horseshoe nails. Here's another real square nail. Iron. Those are pretty neat. And nails, I mean, I keep them. They're, they're unique. These are... Believe it or not, these are old nails. Some of these are old. Got an old uh, valve stem, I believe it to be. Air nozzle or some sort. It's different. I found this, I think this is silver. It's like a bracelet of some kind. It's got real neat design on it right here. You see that? There's like 10 pieces there or more. You can see some of them are together like this uh, I don't know if it was a bracelet or something I just broke that piece kind of strange stuff I don't know for sure what it was used for but I believe it to be pretty silver I think it is silver I need to get a silver test kit and find out whether I got that compact one of the better compacts I've found it actually hinges it's in good shape one of these days you know you open one of these you might find a a coin or something in it. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Got the part of front of a car part here, a Tootsie car. And then I got, uh, this is pretty neat, it's a piece of slag lead. But it looks like somebody had tried to put a pin in it. It's got safety pin in it. So I don't know what's going on there. But it's slag lead with a safety pin in the back. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's pretty neat. Got an old Tootsie car here. Oh, I love these cars. Jeff is a big fan of these. He loves the Tootsie car thing, and I'm, I'm kind of into the car thing too, but he's really hot on these Tootsie cars. But this is a good one. 
it's in good shape it's got all the paint to it of course it's lead paint I'm sure but uh, it's a roadster that's a neat find there oh I had two harmonica reads today like I say this town was an old Civil War town the Battle of Hartville was fought there and the guy that I've got permission from <clears throat> he's a kind of the guy that has a lot of the uh, he knows a lot of people so I think I'm gonna have a lot of more hunting to do there I just have to get the time from work and go down and do the hunting um, found two cog wheels here off of probably a watch part it's pretty cool got the old slag piece of but this is pretty cool this is probably cast off of the bottom of a stove pretty neat another piece of cast here that's probably trash I've got uh, like I say two keys this one was a newer one here um, probably about 10 or 12 Lincoln pennies right here not any real old ones at all I think the oldest one in the 68 four new clad dimes one new clad quarter and then maybe a, probably 10 or so zinc pennies and you can see they're corroded pretty bad normal got a newer I say newer probably from the 40s anyway spoon it's not silver though see it's warped pretty good now this spoon really excited me a little bit as you can see it is copper I do believe it is old and if you look at the end of it it's like it was almost shaped by hand it's not uh, a uniform spoon I don't know if it was war right there but you can see it's not it's not uniform it's like off one side's flatter and the other side's longer then I've got the back part here absolutely no writing on this spoon it may be bronze I don't know but it, it's pretty old I don't know if this would be Civil War era or not spoon really don't I guess it could be a big spoon from the Civil War I don't know if they made them like this or not but it's, it's either bronze or copper that's pretty neat though I'm really excited to have that really pretty neat find. I actually didn't find really what I consider any Civil War stuff here at this time but I'm not done there either I'm gonna go back for some more stuff but uh, I did find this Missouri button and it's off in coveralls but it says show me Missouri brand that's pretty cool being you're from the state of Missouri and you gotta show me what you find I'm showing you what I found so show me Missouri 1956 wheat was my oldest wheat for the day not real old at all I found a 37 Washington or a Jeff or Buffalo just that was across the street from my house and that was a good coin too it's got some good detail on this one really nice I found it actually up on the sidewall, sidewalk curb, and I'd hunted there so many times. Crazy. I found this little pin here thing that has a little star thing in the middle of it. It's like it's a cutter of some sort. It's got a little sharp blade on the end of it. I don't know what it would be to. 1954 silver. I did get a silver today in this hunt at Roosevelt. I'll take it. I'm not a big silver guy. I don't find too many silver coins, but I did get one today. It's awesome. And probably one of the different coins that I found was a token. It says Teletag. It's got the old telephone on it. I assume that A. Jizzery or whatever is the guy's name. I don't know that. I found it on a sidewalk strip in front of the house. And it's a shamrock good luck token. That's kind of neat. Being today's the 16th of March, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. And it's got a shamrock on the back. So that's really cool. 
really cool. Four leaf clover, St. Patrick's Day token. I don't have any idea what these are for, so it's Teletag. Anyway, that was it. And there's lots of stuff there. I, I did I did find, you know, some fairly good stuff, I thought, but just no real, real old coins. And no really defined Civil War products, so but still yet it was a great hunt and I had a senior moment for getting my camera so you guys have to apologize for me okay uh, it happens I regret not having it but and the dogs are barking anyway you guys get out and do some hunting we're gonna have some nice spring weather coming up and it's it's gonna be great for you so get out wherever you're at enjoy the outdoors I love to hunt, as you know, so get out there, do some digging. Until my next hunt, this is Mike, and I'm out.